seem so wicked. What have I done to you this morning to deserve all this wickedness? You see, in this house, I will frustrate you the way you are frustrating Mama and I. Mind you, the spirit of my brother will haunt you morning and night. I will make this house a living hell for you, witch. this meeting as regards to my late son's burial. I'll be going to the village over the weekend to discuss with his uncles and his other kinsmen on how my son will be buried. In addition to what Mama has just said, you have been saved from touching any of his asses. This meeting is over. Oh, I have not I said shut up. up. This meeting is over. Ah. We do not owe you any explanations or any excuses. Now leave. Get out. Mr. Ken, Dr. Peter, you are all welcome. Let me go straight to the point on why I called for this meeting. My dead son has been lying down in that mortuary for a while now. You people refused that I should go and see his corpse. Now, his uncles and his kinsmen are asking me to go to the mortuary to see my son's corpse and know what it looks like before burial preparations will commence. Um, well, Mama, I have to apologize first for all the inconveniences. All the same, I'm not trying to stop you, or we are not trying to stop you from seeing the corpse of your late son, my friend Jim. But um, he gave instructions while he was alive, which I think we should follow. And, and as a mother, you should be able to understand that a, 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 a dead man's last wishes, you understand? What instructions? 
Did my brother raise from the dead like Jesus Christ to issue you an instruction? I wonder. <clears throat> this is Sandra. You may not understand. Hey, uh, Mama. Let me explain this thing much better for us to understand. You see, Dr. Peter here is on point. He's very correct. Before the death of Jim, he gave an instruction in his will that no one should visit him till the date of his burial. And all his mortuary bills and expenses should be paid by his lawyer. And nobody should visit his family or trouble them. And of course, that his will will be read three months after his burial. So you even had all this information, yet you kept it away from me. Both of you are wicked. You are wicked and you are forgetting that he was my only son. Mama, you're right. He was your son, of course. But we are only following laid down instructions. And, and of course, legal matters are not like every other matters. Mama, I, I will suggest, let's be patient, okay, till after his burial. And of course, the will will be revealed three months after his burial. Please. How do you bury him then, when we haven't seen his corpse yet? The fact is that my friend Jim, when he was alive, he gave instructions. He instructed that his corpse should be deposited in our mortuary and that it should only be released on the date of his burial. And I think as, as a friend and you as a mom and we loved him, we should be able to do this in his in, in, in the honor of his memory. I think that's it's, it's a proper thing we should do. That's his instructions when, when, when he was alive. And, and I think the best thing for us to do is to respect his last wishes. It's just right. Yes, please. Please, let, let, let the show us that, please. Uh, um, what's the, how, how do you pay? And what is that? What is your business on how my house has been? Gentlemen, this meeting is over. Take it, it is over. Please leave. Leave. Meeting is over. Leave. Bye bye. Leave. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. okay. Mama, we will we'll see you some other time. This is. Catch me. You guys, we always have catch it to us. Where are you? <laughs> 
But anyway, thank God you're here. You see things for yourself. Don't worry, just don't worry. I am here. Your mother is here. Let me see how that witch will be reach my son again. Don't worry, eh? Don't worry, your mother is here. Don't, don't mind him, doesn't know what he's doing. That witch, just, that witch has bewitched him. It's okay. I'm here now. Hmm. Oh, dear, my <laughs> mm -hmm. known to the soul of the feet. The secret of the mouth in the morning is first known to the chewing stick. The meat fried and meat roasted are all victims of fire. Ha 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 ha! Who go, 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 who go